Hello YouTube, this is Camel Knable, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this simple paper Uzi. You can see right here. Let me adjust the camera. Here it is. It's got the magazine. Removable. Pretty cool. Sorry, it's kind of hard to get in there. I didn't tape the uh, magazine thing. Trigger guard and nothing else is removable. Looks pretty cool, I think, but you know, whatever. You're going to need paper, of course. Crucial. Mm. Sorry. Scissors. And, oh, and. I'm sorry. Can't find my tape. But, um, tape. Yeah, here we are. So, that's tape. Scissors and some paper. I'm not sure how many sheets, but I have plenty out there. So, anyway. So, first of all, you're going to take one sheet of camera, just one sheet of paper, roll it up, and as large as you want your barrel to be. Mine will be pretty big. And take your tape. And tape the tube right here. I might make a silencer for this gun. Probably, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> so, yeah. Tape this tube. Set it somewhere where you know it'll be. Then you're going to take a sh another sheet of paper. Take it the, uh, the longer way. Not the shorter way, you just roll up this tube. And you're going to make it about, I don't know, mm, I guess you'd say medium, medium, you know. Um, well, I'll show you what the Uzi, the one I made already, looks like from the back. And, yeah. So, one sec. Just tape it. And you'll have that. So you can see, this is my, uh, this is the back of my other, it's just three tubes, like that. You can see, that's what your, uh, this will be your barrel, you can see that, like, like that, goes right there. Let's see. And then the other, this tube is gonna go here. So you're going to want to make, to make, uh, another tube about the size of the shorter one you have just made. So also you're going to set this one where your longer tube is. Any tape works. I'm just using scotch tape because that's the most, you know, the best looking, I guess. Because it's clear. Take it. Compare the two. Sizes. And you're going to take all of these three, uh, you, uh, all three tubes, and then you're going to tape them together. The middle, the longest tube in the middle. It'll end up looking like this. I haven't taped mine yet, but I'm just giving you an example to look at. Then, you can take another piece of paper, take it the longer way, like this, longer, not... I mean, ugh, like, um, like this way, not the way you roll up the tube that's going to be your barrel. So, yeah, take it and take your tubes that you tape and roll it up the, well, whatever, the way, you know? I guess, like, um, hot dog style, maybe? I don't know, but whatever you want to call it. And then, you can just take your scissors if you'd like to. If you think it's barrel, it's good length, keep it that way. If you don't, like I do, cut it. Take your scraps and throw them away. Yeah, so here it is, so far. Now we are going to make the, the, um, the handle. Take a piece of paper and roll it up the longer way, like you made your barrel earlier in the video. 
and then just tape and just make it about the size you want your handle to be a bit larger actually and you're going to take it and flatten it ouch sorry but I got a little that really and then take it and it's going to pop it open and then you're going to flatten it the other way so that the, the flat the flattening crease I guess you said that you just made what is now there in the middle then you have your, your handle put it pretty close to the middle in the middle pretty close tape it on you can see So, tape it and whatever, do whatever you feel like. Yeah, so, um, sorry. <laughs> My camera does not have a built in microphone, so whatever. That's not part of the paper gun. <laughs> cool. Now you're going to cut it to the length of your handle. I'd recommend making it, I don't know. As long as you would like your handle to be without the magazine. So I'd say about, I don't know, like maybe a little a little less than half of the tube. You can see here, that's the handle. This is the ring of the tube. Compare the two, and you can see just, if you can compare that. I'd say about maybe eight inch or more, less, I don't know. But here on consent. Then you're going to take another tube, roll it up relatively small. Because so it so it'll at least fit inside the tube you have just made. Well, actually don't tape it yet, sorry. But um take it, insert it, and let it like that expand inside it so it'll be it will fit more. And then you're going to tape it and do the same sort of squaring process. Which means flatten the tube, take it, flatten it the other direction. Yeah. And then you're going to take your tube, see if it fits inside good. Well, actually, first of all, I'm going to make sure it's taped at the end and tape the inside of the handle so it'll slide in smoothly, unlike I did on the example gun this one can't see okay so then you just insert the two make sure it fits no mine sort of fits I guess not maybe let's see if I put a little tape in let's see let's see try it out yeah it fits it fits good sorry just make then take it and cut it to the length you want your magazine to be. Or your handle with the magazine. If you can see that, I'd say more than half. You want the part you cut off to be about equal to what's sticking out of the handle right now. Now we're going to make the silencer. Decided to make one in this tutorial. Um. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to make a part two. So, you'll have this, and I'll see you in part two. Actually, no. I don't need to make part two. Chicken and pie. Eight minutes. Nine minutes. Okay. I need to speed this up. Pick up the pace. Okay. Roll up a tube. Make sure. Say, okay, size. Okay, like this. I might just suddenly stop. So just be ready to stop. Try and make make it larger, slightly larger than your barrel, so that they'll fit inside each other. And and then yeah, that's your silencer pretty much. And I think I will need to make a part two. One second. Then just tape on the inside like that on the inside. Make sure it's okay. And then tape around the barrel of the gun. Everything will be smooth, smooth, and then it'll slide on, and then there you go. You got your silencer, or you can cut it, whatever. Do whatever you feel like. Can't find my screw. Here they are. Here. Snip it a little bit, however much you want. 